Hello everyone. A very good afternoon. Today is 6th of March. Welcome back to my channel guys. I hope you are doing absolutely fine. I am really really excited to begin with this vlog. Reason being this is the second time I am making an unboxing video on my channel. And thank you so much guys for giving such a wonderful response on the first unboxing video on my channel. So you can click, you can check the i button uh, for the entire description if you haven't checked out that particular vlog. So today's vlog is about the uh, recent nano drone introduced, the second generation nano drone introduced by DJI. That's the DJI Mini 2. me a lot but uh, since the launch of this DJI Mini 2 I made my mind that I wanted this product very very badly at any cost and fortunately I have this product right now but here is the twist how much did this cost me to know the details watch the full video so let's see what's inside the box uh, I know we are eagerly waiting me and you guys right so let's see okay so this is the black box that's uh, this is a beautiful piece of leather box uh, given by DJI that's a wonderful looking box and what's inside cable and here is the pocket size drone it's very very small it's very very lightweight as you have seen it's around 249 grams similar to what uh, DJI Mini weighs so uh, probably if you're planning to buy a DJI Mini 2 and if you're confused in uh, DJI Mini and DJI Mini 2 then you can probably check out the differences uh, which, which you can see right now displayed on the screen so you can still make your mind I would still prefer uh, to suggest to buy the DJI Mini 2 so let's quickly see what's inside the box okay so one more important thing uh, in this particular box it says uh, that uh, this is uh, that this is this drone is purely made for iPhone but uh, even that I was worried that time because although I have an iPhone but still in case if I want to switch to some other phone then I was worried that how it will work don't worry guys uh, DJI has given a pair of uh, wires okay sorry for that so basically this is a C type cable so if you uh, I'll know I'll tell you how to use that and that's a C type to a USB cable or oh, sorry I'm not sure of this port this is used for old uh, Android phones and uh, this is the battery pack so I have purchased the Flymore combo one and uh, this is the battery case this is the two-way charging hub and uh, the one of the batteries already inserted in the drone so this uh, I've got three batteries and then this is the remote controller that is the RC controller which we say and then uh, this is the charging cable you can also try to char directly charge the uh, drone or maybe you can use this battery case and then plug into your USB cable because this is a C type cable so if you have any C type cable you, you can also use that probably and of course uh, this is the user manual which I've already went through so if I purchase a primer combo they have given me spare propellers in case uh, if any one of the uh, uh, existing, pa uh, existing pair of propellers bre uh, breaks down and they have given me the screwdriver as well to fit in the uh, this is a screwdriver I don't, don't, do not want to open it so this is the screwdriver which so that I can use it for uh, fixing my propellers so I also received a pair of extra pair of extra pair of uh, joysticks available and yes finally the drone let me open it okay I know we are eagerly waiting for the video shots we surely go to a good place maybe I'll be visiting a friend where I can fly this drone just handle with care it is a very delicate drone 
it's very light so make sure you handle it with care and properly so yes this is the one this is the gimbal insert in inside the drone this is the camera which has the three axis gimbal okay coming to the rc gimbal so i all i told you that on the box it was written that it is only meant for iphone but that's not the case so basically this is the rc cable so they have given a c type cable right so you can plug in in the c type cable in the rc controller and then you can use your android phone as well so for using for operating the dji mini 2 you have to download the uh, dji fly, fly app on the app store and the latest version is around 1.3.0 and please may uh, please uh, note that this a DJI Mini 2 drone will not work with the older versions of this app so do not uh, try to download the app and try to operate it because it will not work at all I have already tried so that's what I'm that's why I'm suggesting you guys so here are some high level features of the DJI Mini 2 drone uh, it's ultra light and foldable and less than 249 grams uh, it has a 31 minutes of maximum flight time which is awesome 10 kilometers of QSync 2.0 HD video transmission it means you can fly this drone up to 10 kilometers wide again an awesome thing and then uh, it has a level 5 wind resistance much better than what is offered in DJI Mini and then it has a 3 axis gimbal camera which I've already seen and which can shoot up to 4k videos at 30 fps and then it has uh, it can shoot panorama quick shots and one tap videos so let me quickly set up these things and then we move to an open place and fly the drone. So let's go. Uh, so finally we are in open space now. Uh, but before we fly the drone, a uh, few more things to highlight. Uh, so basically the 31 minutes of maximum flight time, this you cannot achieve through a single battery. So all the three batteries provided for this drone uh, will provide a maximum uh, flight time of 31 minutes. Secondly, uh, there is no inbuilt storage for this drone. So there is a micro SD card uh, slot for uh, this drone and I have put up, uh, I have inserted a 128GB micro SD card which is sufficient enough for me. So this is your remote controller. This is my phone. And uh, this is the RC cable. You just need to connect it. So this is how you need to power it on. So one, you see, you hear that beep noise this is how it ensures that the uh, RC controller is powered on and uh, here is this pocket drone so you need to press it once to see the battery level and then uh, let me show you how to turn it on one and this is how it is powered on you see it is blinking so the DJI drone is powered on now let's enjoy some beautiful uh, shots which will be taken by this DJI Mini 2. So this is the layout of the DJI Fly app in which you can check out the safety, control, camera and transmission parameters. Through this app you can also uh, set the camera settings as per your condition or as per your choice and you can probably download the videos which you have recorded through the drone as well. Maximum flight altitude reached. So through this app, you can select the quick shot of your choice, and the drone will do the needful. So I have selected an object, Three, so that the drone two, will take a quick one. shot. And by default, I have taken a drony shot, and you can see how beautiful it is looking. So the same procedure will be followed for the other quick shots as well. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Then this return to home feature is very useful. 
in case if you are not able to find your drone then just select this return to home functionality and then the, your drone will fly back safely towards the home point. shots captured by this pocket drone introduced by DJI and I was really really happy and amazed by the performance of this DJI Mini 2 I feel it was really really worth it to buy so last but not the least guys let's talk about the pricing it costed me rupees 42,000 and I got this product from Dubai and uh, it looked a much better deal to me as compared to the prices in India which is close to 90,000 above 90,000 or 1 lakh so it looked a very good deal to me so you guys must be wondering look by looking at the shots that how this drone was able to fly above 15 meters being a nano drone the DJI uh, restrict this particular drone up to 15 meters uh, as per the Indian rule and regulation so how to fly your drone your DJI Mini or DJI Mini 2 above 15 meters you have to check out my next vlog which is going to be released very very soon on my channel so stay tuned for further updates and i hope the video was quite informative and if you really like it please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe to it this is travel kida signing off bye bye